The Kenyan Judicial Service Commission has advertised vacancies to replace Chief Justice Dr. Willie Mutunga, his deputy Kalpana Rawal, and suspended Supreme Court Judge Philip Tnoy. As KTN's Murimi Mwangi now reports, the adverts will be published in tomorrow's dailies when Rawal and Tnoy will be making a final attempt to get back their jobs at the Supreme Court. Even before outgoing Chief Justice Willie Mutunga, dropped the final bombshell prescribing an immediate retirement for his two colleagues, 70-year-old Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal and suspended Supreme Court Judge Philip Tunoi, age 72. Seeking his right. An open crack was evident on the bench. The judges, by a majority of three, ruled to uphold a court of appeal decision that set the retirement age of judges at 70 years. But lawyers representing Rawal and Tunoy immediately requested the courts to suspend the verdict for 21 days. It doesn't have to be that a Mr. X or Mrs. Y must be the Deputy Chief Justice. Mr. Muite's submission first. I don't think he really was serious. But even before the Supreme Court reconvenes on Thursday to give a final directive on the standoff, the Judicial Service Commission has thrown a spanner in the works, advertising vacancies to replace Justices Rawal and Tunoy. Alongside the Chief Justice, who retires on Thursday, the adverts are to be published in the dailies on Thursday. They must ensure that those differences of judicial opinion do not become personalized or do not uh, point towards further divisions either uh, within the entire institution and the country as a whole. In the adverts, JSC wants all eligible persons to file their applications by 5 p.m. on the 6th of July to pave way for the replacements which JSC argues can only be completed soonest in October this year. As much as I know, the executive may have an interest as to who is going to be appointed the next chief justice. There's still uh, an element of some lawyers uh, having an interest as to whom is going to be appointed as the Deputy Chief Justice and who is going to be appointed the Chief Justice. It is those different opinions that uh, eventually uh, infuse and, 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 and in a very, very, very uh, good way fatalize uh, jurispr jurisprudential growth. Very, very good growth. Rawal is apparently keen to keep her job until December. While Tunoy is fighting to clear his name from the corruption allegations in the Kidero bribery saga, the Supreme Court reconvenes for what will possibly be Mutunga's final sitting on Thursday. Now, with the division at the Supreme Court evident from the retirement age ruling, then the incoming Chief Justice and the Deputy no doubt have an even more daunting task, sealing the cracks at the country's top court and the judiciary at large. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.